Hello everybody, my name is FredX and welcome back to Victoria Free and Grand Columbia. Now we have actually changed our name, so we are now technically an empire. And an empire, of course, needs to own pretty much a whole continent in my opinion. So we're going to be making steps today to move south down to the other locations in South America. Now we are of course going to leave Brazil alone because they are the big boy in the situation. Uh, they can just watch as they are surrounded one state at a time by the glory of Gran Colombia. Now, the best thing about this is, of course, we've got to get through Ecuador first, but after Ecuador, there is Peru. And Peru has lead. And as we know from last episode, we need lead for many, many things. Uh, I think after this point, actually, we pretty much gather most of the basic resources in the game we need. The one we're probably going to be lacking is going to be, uh, what would it be? Silk. I think apart from that, we pretty much can make most of the stuff in the game by ourselves, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty nice situation to be in. Anyway, a uh, rubber rush. That's a very... I've had this event like 10 times in the same region. <laughs> there is just infinite rubber, apparently, at this point. Now, let's press on pause. I'm pretty sure things are pretty stable right now. we got a nice construction speed. Our army is still pretty spare, to be honest. We've only got a nice 18,000 troops, which is not a lot, really. <laughs> but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Oh, everybody, it is time to see if this will fix our economy. This, I mentioned at the end of last episode, is mutual funding. It allows me to pretty much make every building in the game into a publicly traded building, which is run by capitalists. And as we know, if we do this, we will get 25% of the investment pool contribution from a successful business, which will hopefully mean that we can just build stuff and not have to worry about the cost because it's being paid for by the capitalists, which means we can grow exponentially and just take over the world with just loads of money. So I'm going to do that right away. This might take a little bit of um, picking, to say the least, because we've got to switch over a lot of buildings here. Uh, in the interim, I am going to increase tech for dynamite so we can get some more efficient mining going. Um, anyway, so let's have a look. Let's go to, let's let the game run. Buildings. Now, ah. Publicly traded. Yes. I'm very curious to see how this is going to affect our, um, oh, that's interesting. Oh, you need leaded glass to actually use capitalists. We'll come back to that later then. The rest of them are fine. So let's switch all this over. I'm really curious to see how this is going to affect our, the problem is I think it, Technically changes a little bit the investment like capacity. So we have to wait, I think, a few like weeks from to get maximum money again. And then we should hopefully start seeing a massive amount of investment come through. Because right now, privately owned is oh, it's still run by capitalists. Oh. Well, at least in these situations. But it just means it's more capitalists. It's fine. Morrow migration. Very nice. There's a lot of clicking involved here. <laughs> There's probably a really easy way of doing this. I just haven't realized. That does seem like something I would do. Okay, done. At least this building was run by merchants. Now it's run by capitalists. So these, at least this one will enter into the investment fund. So, done. I'm very curious. If we go to the assets menu, do we see an increase in investment pool? Ooh. Well, despite all that, we have also got ourselves... Uh, property women now, so women actually have a little bit of rights, and it means we get more workforce, which is absolutely amazing. Investment pool. Hmm. It went down. <laughs> That's just not the plan, everybody. <laughs> we made the world worse. Well, I feel like I like it anyway, so we'll keep it going. And more capitalists mean that we have a higher share of um, industrialists, which we already have a lot of, but now we have even more. Anyway, so that's all happening, which is pretty nice for us. We are going to look at new laws, because now we have property women. It's pretty nice. I can't go for the next two, because we need to unlock feminism. But we will work on that as soon as we can. We also... Ah, we have an opportunity to remove child, well, restrict child labor, which what would this do? So it will, at the moment, we are getting quite a lot of dependence income, which uh, depends on like people that are not directly working, how much money they have. But there is a downside that everybody's just dying, a horrific death, which is not very good. But if we do this, we will gain less income, more education, and a lot less mortality from various jobs and actually completely remove some jobs like um oh, damn it game i'm talking here get out of the way 
like machinists. There will be no more child machinists. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's go for this. Uh, the unfortunately the industrialists, which we just massively increase their power by increasing that capitalists, are not a fan of this. But they like us so much, they will just deal with it. Hopefully, maybe. Anyway, so that's going to be working out for us. We are now making more money. But why? I don't know. We'll just let it we'll let it run. It's fine. Anyway, so I do want to start trying to look into killing Ecuador here. Now, we need to wait for the... Ah! They are doing the thing where they try and increase relations at the same time. I will leave this running for now. We'll, let, we'll, we'll deal with the combat in a little bit later in the video. We're getting a lot of people migrating here, by the way. You're going to see this quite often if you start making a very, very large nation of high standard of living. Because people across the planet will be like, screw this, I'm going to Grand Columbia. Which is exactly what's happening. Uh, actually, if we look at the top few nations in the world do we have the highest quality of living no but then again scandinavia is overpowered we all know this it's a paradox game they make them we, we cannot count power uh, scandinavia in any calculation in paradox games they are overpowered on purpose though england is cheating though <laughs> damn it england <laughs> I was going to try and say I'm the best in the world and you guys are just ruining it, France and England. Damn it, guys. It's fine. We clearly need to make our, cell, our people a little bit better off, though. But pretty impressive that the AI has ha such a high standard of living. Good good job, guys. Good job. Anyway, apart from me being um, ruined by those guys, let us carry on. So we're currently making a lot of money right now, which is pretty nice. I'm going to, I think, decrease taxes. I'm pretty sure we have high taxes. Yes. We can take it. Done. Now that should hopefully help us start decreasing uh, radicals at a faster rate. But to be fair though, we're already, we're already doing a good job of that anyway. It's already going down quite quickly. And I think apart from that, I think our taxes are pretty good to go. I mean, yeah, in theory we do have <laughs> consumption tax on services, but I can't afford to get rid of that at this point. So we had to leave it on. Now, what do we need for our little market right now? I kind of feel like we need to do a little bit of an expansion for military because we're still rocking around with 18,000 troops and we are technically an empire. That does not make sense to me. <laughs> it's pretty bad. So I'm going to work on that. So to do this, we are going to increase the amount of arms industries, which are already pretty solid, to be honest. Wow. We really have a tool problem right now. That's really bad. We should probably... <laughs> do you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to deal with that quickly instead. Um, we need more tools. So we currently are having a massive deficit. Absolutely huge. I'm going to build another four tool factories. And then I also see... This is where this game ruins my life. I also have a problem with coal. <laughs> Damn it. So we also want to deal with that as well. Um, now. How much coal do we need? A lot of coal. I'm going to diversify a little bit. I think we had some coal mines over here we could do. But not a lot. So we'll build two here. And do we have any over here? No. We'll build two there. And we'll build two here. Happy days. Done. Okay. They're happy. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. Good times. After that though, we will queue up the arms industry is again. So we're going to go for an additional two arms factories. And do we need more munitions? I don't really think we do, to be honest. We do. We do. We do. So we need to increase munitions as well by one and then I think we're going to increase our military up to 30,000 which is not a lot still but it's better than before now I do like to spread around my military base a little bit because Apple like why is this place have so many people living here <laughs> what has happened here oh it's got rubber rush twice so everybody has moved to this location for literally no reason there's no reason to live here uh <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we'll probably increase... So what were we on? 18,000? Let me just double check. I think it was 18. Yes, we need another 22,000 men. Let's just increase this by 10. And we... Pr Actually, no. 9. 2. I'm lost now. Where are we at? 11. We need one more. Um, Let's put one more. I like having like multiples of five because I'm a weirdo. So eventually we will attempt to get multiples of five for barracks. Does it achieve anything? No. It makes me feel better though. Who would go against 
Child labor laws. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why? I know they like the profit, everybody, but it's a bit too much, in my opinion. I mean, like, do they do they want their kids working in the factories? Ooh. Steamships for shipyards. This is huge, by the way. Um, as you can see, it means that we can start building such as ironclads, which are basically armored warships of the early era. And also we can get stuff such as steam powered trawlers for our fishing wharfs, which is going to be, I think, a huge upgrade. So right now we are we're rocking on 100, well, 50 per trawler. This will knock us up double. So we get 100 per trawler, which is amazing. The downside is that we will need a different type of um ship which is a steamer and we also need coal but to be fair i mean this it increases engineering and machiners it massively increases the amount of food we have i think it's a good idea so i am going to change one of our little shipyards into a steamer shipyard now we have to make sure we keep another one running around normally because the downside of this is of course that um well unfortunately if I just switch more to being steamships, we have nobody to work in our anchorages, which is our ports. We need that to keep on working. Uh, these guys right here. I'm pretty sure at some point I can unlock industrial port, which will mean that we can just completely switch over to being steamers. But right now, we can't do that. So, I'm going to switch over, was it this one? This fellow to being a steamship production facility. And we are also, we got 62 steamers. How much can we switch over right away? With our other stuff where are we looking at fisheries oh it's gonna be too much too much to handle we need to switch over um is it the same ratio yes so we can switch over that's 20 that's 30 40 50 60 done i imagine right now there is fish everywhere like there's oh no what have we done <laughs> there's fish Sir, there's just too much fish. We, what do we even do with it all? No one even wants it. <laughs> Get more fish. Some may say that we have prematurely increased the fish production beyond our population's means, but I don't care. They will eat fish and they will like it. I mean, having cheap food stocks is not the end of the world. It just means that we just have a better quality of life. Rotary valve engine. This is another improvement to our factories. We did it ages ago. Uh, where is it? It's these ones. Water boilers now turn into rotary valve engines, which means we need more coal. Can you see at this point of the game that you need a lot of coal, everybody? <laughs> if you have not got coal, you're not going to be doing very well. But we will leave that for now because, well, frankly, we haven't got any coal. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So... That has gone very well for us. I am very tempted right now, but it would be a complete disaster if we did it, to increase this into steel production. But it's probably going to bankrupt me if I try it, so we're not going to do it for now. Uh, raising concerns, deal with it. I'm sorry, your political party, I just don't care about. <laughs> you just have to deal with this as reality. I, would, oh, I was going to say maybe we should increase the construction again. Do you know what? Let's leave it. I'm making money right now. People are happy. There's not that much taxes. There are issues with paper, though. We probably should deal with this. We'll, we'll put that in, in the situation. So I'm making a lot of money right now. I'm very tempted to finally get rid of the last consumption tax in our glorious nation. But it is going to probably cost me a bit too much right now. We'll leave it a little bit longer. Bureaucratic in Beligo. What, what does this word say? I'm Rogelio. I don't know. It's gibberish to me. All I know is that it's hurting my chances of passing a law for child labor. Are we on 0% now? No, we're okay. We're okay. We still got a 9.8% chance of passing a law to save our children. Okay. Um, let us see. Because I did mention this last episode. Before I actually get to the point where I want to switch over to the better thing. We need to get a lot more steel. I think it was. If Let's have a quick look. So my current construction yards. I would need an additional 240 glass. 60 explosives. 60 tools. And 300 steel. So I feel like before we can get to that milestone. We probably need to secure uh, Lima. So we can actually get our own lead production. Otherwise it's going to cost too much in terms of uh, what happened here. I don't know. 
Ah, it's probably one of my institutions uh, moving up to the next rank, which unfortunately is tanking my tax efficiency. We should probably deal with that as well. Ooh. Ooh, we have too much stuff here now. We can fix it temporarily. But it will... Ooh! We could also switch over... Um, the train yards to capitalists as well. Nice. Okay, wait, let's do that quickly. Uh, where are we going? We want to go to development. We want to go to not ports. We want to go to this. I guess if you don't want capitalists, you can just use bureaucrats if you wanted to, which normally move to the boffins. Um, but also trade unionists. We want to kind of avoid that kind of situation. Okay. I like having a nice stable government, if I say so myself. Okay, so that's working out pretty well. We probably want to kind of put in some random coal mines in between these tools. In fact, do we not... I thought I queued up a load of tool mines. Did we not have enough? Wait, so I was building two over here, right? No. Uh, this one? Nope. That one. They've already been constructed. We just need loads and loads of, t of coal. Wow. Our coal is out of control. <laughs> we just need millions of coal. We need more coal. In a world where everything's running off coal, we need more of it. I'm surprised it's, uh, someone must be importing my coal. Surely. Okay. Not really enough to be worried about. But still, I'm going to blame Mexico for all my coal shortages. They have clearly de destroyed my economy by taking 15 coal away. Out of the... How much do we create? Out of the... It's 488 we produce. <laughs> how dare they ruin my economy this way? I mean, we have got a long-term kind of boost to our production in a second anyway when we get the dynamite, but we probably need to increase chemical plants again to actually use it properly, um, which will also in turn require us to have more coal. <laughs> we can't... The coal, everybody. The coal. It's too much. But anyway, it's going pretty well. But now we have a little bit more of a buffer when it comes to tools. I am tempted to increase this again. Um, let's do it at least once. Really, there's no... I just like increasing my production speed exponentially. Though I need to... This probably would be the last time we do it for a bit. Because we also need to put more money into the military. So it's going to drain my economy at some point. Okay. That's working out pretty good. Uh, expensive goods. Every good possible is expensive. Not great. Where is my shipyard? We probably want to build a second one of those temporarily. Let's actually build a shipyard. Let's, let's do two things. Let's build a shipyard here. I'm going to build another one here as well. And we make one of them into a steamer. And this one can be a regular one. Because we need steamers and we also need um, clippers at the same time. How are we doing with fish, by the way? We're, we're selling a lot more of the fish. That's good news for us. What? We passed the 9% law chart? This is amazing! Wow. I don't know what's happening to this graph, but I think it's cursed. I think we've... Uh, um, We've annoyed a Cthulhu master or something. Um, I guess it's because we lost a little bit of dependence income by 15%. So they can't afford as many goods. But now it spouts back up again. So I'm not sure what's happening. <laughs> All we know is stuff is changing rapidly. Okay, anyway, apart from that, states in turmoil. We've got two states that are left in turmoil at the moment. But is it going up or down? Let's have a quick look. It's going up. That's not good. That's going down. Do you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it can do what it does. It's not a problem. So uh, I actually got a lot of... Um, I just noticed we've got loads and loads of diplomatic points here. I would love an alliance with America because we are kind of joined at the hip at this point. We are very friendly with each other through the entire game. But unfortunately for me, they are a great power and I'm a minor power. So they got a negative 20. Also, my army sucks. So they think I'm pathetic. And I don't really disagree because I only have 15,000 men. France is just unbelievably powerful at this point. Um, I'm going to just... Oh, we've already done it. I'm going to go around and randomly improve relations with major powers. Just so they don't kill me at some point. Because <laughs> once we do it, it counts itself anyway. So we get like a nice long-term thing there. Okay, guys. How are we doing other things? We're getting more coal. That's looking pretty good. Despite the amount of coal production I'm increasing, it's still not enough. Luckily for us, we have a lot of coal, though. <laughs> when I was playing uh, Argentina, I actually maxed out what I do. I maxed out this. So I maxed out... Oh, where is it? 
Oh, was it these two? It was these two. I maxed out 40 mines and 14. So we had 54 mines. And I didn't have enough coal. <laughs> I was like, damn. That was the downside of having a tiny little area of the map by being a great power. Because I literally just had to, I needed so much coal. I literally couldn't deal with it. It was awful. What is this? Pacifist. Disgusting. We should not be ashamed by our good craftsmanship. I don't need to read the rest of that. I already disagree with what they say. So it's fine. If we were pacifists, we wouldn't own Grand Columbia, everybody. It's how we got this far. That's not good. It's fine. Are we still paying that guy, by the way? Oh, it's gone. The guy that we spent like a billion pounds to bribe has finally stopped being given money. I'm pretty sure he's bought an island somewhere. He probably just owns Hawaii. He's like, All right, this is my island. <laughs> Hawaiian island. Wait, what? Oh, America probably hasn't captured Hawaii yet. How cool is that? I don't know when America took over Hawaii. Yeah, they're just they're just chilling. Maybe we can take Hawaii. I saw I can't get over this by the way. Look at how bad this is. It's awful. Uh, this makes me cry. Have these guys rebelled yet, by the way? We were talking about this last episode, but because they have zero market share, surely they must be annoyed. It don't seem that annoyed. I don't feel like I can actually see how annoyed they are. They're also discriminated against as well. That's not looking good for this part of the world. Radicals. How is their radicalism so low if they have no supplies? And maybe the domestic demand of Nevada is paying off the uh, bills there. That is a possibility. We have more lead for some reason. I guess one of the trade routes have increased in value. No, it hasn't. Weird. Okay, let's have a look. We are getting there slowly. I, I, so I will get more construction speed, but we are going to have a problem in a second with just probably going to increase the cost of our military by well, double, wouldn't it, really? So we would need to use an extra... It's going to be an extra... Like, seven grand? But, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Migration. From who, where? Interesting. As internal migrations, so it's not that important. Okay, so we're probably going to get ready to attack in a second. I just want this to speed up a little bit. So Ecuador, how many regions does it have? It has two. And they're also not doing very well. They are starving. They, we need to save them. Only we can save these people. That's what I'm really doing. I'm trying to make them live in a better place. So, uh, expel diplomats. I'm pretty sure we can take these guys on with our current forces. Oh, wait. Why can't we attack them still? Interesting. I can't do it for some reason. There must... Very good. We'll deal with that in a second. I'm a bit confused on why I can't attack... There must be a reason for this. Let's have a look. So, if we go to declare interest, I have an interest in this region. That is locked in. So, diplomatic plays. Conquer states. Why does game say no? Grand Columbia has an interest. Have I, is the game broken? Oh no, I think we've got a little bit of a, an issue at the moment. Um, apparently, I haven't got an interest here. I thought I did, though. I think there might be a little bit of an issue because we switched over. Let's have a look. Declare interest. We haven't got an interest. So we remove the interest in the Caribbean and we put it into Ecuador. Because we already have an re interest in certain regions such as Central America and Brazil because we have a territory there. But as we own no territory, we actually have to declare an external interest. So when this is over, when this is actually filled up, we can start attacking Ecuador. What do we want next? Ah, this is very good. This actually open half process is an upgrade for the steel mills. And as you knew, saw from earlier, we need to get ourselves a lot of steel mills. So that helps out a lot, a lot that way. But if I remember, I think unfortunately it causes a bit of a problem when it comes to... It uses way, way more um, iron. 
So we need to improve iron mines at some point as well. I have queued up a thing here, haven't I? I have. Okay. Let's put another four iron mines in at some point. Rifling was successfully completed. Interesting. Modernize arsenal. So I can get two things. I can get improved technology towards repeaters, which is an even better technology. Or we can just get more arms industry. Let's go for the uh, technology one. Which immediately unlocked it for me. So we have an even better <laughs> production of stuff, which is awesome. So. I am sure we need to get ourselves a lot of guns. Oh, it's really messed up the steel though, hasn't it? That's not steel mill. That's steel mill. At some point, we'll get to that. So. Let's do this. Our potential enemies are, well, our definite enemies are going to be Ecuador themselves and also Peru, Bolivia. Though there could be any number of different nations that could join against us in this battle. We are, of course, making ourselves... Oh, have we got to it yet? Yeah. Oh, sorry. We're very close to actually starting the increase in military. I think we should wait a little bit longer. Just in case something bad happens, we'll have a, a, a nice 30k group of allies we can use in combat. Ah! Investment pool is a lot larger now. That's probably double the size it was earlier. So it is working, our increase in capitalism. And it is paying for a big chunk of our construction costs. So that is pretty handy for us. Unfortunately, though, because we are making these factories first, a lot of people are going to start exporting, uh, importing my weapons to their country instead. Uh, like, for instance, I'm losing 45 ammunition, 58 arms. We're literally supplying the world of arms, which is, I guess, a good way of making money, but also at the same time, not that great. Because I want to use it myself. Okay, what's this? Textile mill has seen an increase in workspace injuries, so we can slow down all manufacturers for five years on my capital city. That is a terrible idea. I refuse. Perfect. Also, while we're here as well, let's look for another law we can push through. I, like I said, I don't think there's that many laws left we can actually do, to be honest. We've kind of done everything I want. Um... I don't really know what else I could do with laws. I mean, technically we can do universal suffrage, but in the current game's mechanics, there's not really much difference. I mean, like, you get authority this, with this one, and you can only vote if you have only tw over 25 wealth. But I don't care about that, because I'm going to be increasing wealth for everybody as much as possible. So, that's fine. <laughs> we just keep it a lot more of a stable government, because the people that are going to be in charge are going to be the rich people. Um, I know it's not really great, but I mean, in terms of game, there's not much point going over this, in my opinion. Unless you want to have, like, a trade unionist, or, like, a more of a democratic, like a, let's have a look. Like, petty bourgeois, or trade unions in control. Which we're not doing, because I think their laws are going to be against a lot of our, they, they don't like free trade, they don't like um, interventionism, that kind of thing. They want to have, like, a state-run command economy. Nice! We needed that. So the next thing I want to try and go for is the use of elastics. I think that could be very powerful. And also, oh, there's two we need, really. We need that, and we also probably need to get electric, electricity as well. Both of those are going to be very powerful. Okay, we'll go for this one first, though. Let's have a look at these open half processes. So we get 90 more steel, but we directly need to just use 90 more iron. Well, at the moment, it's a different ratio. So it makes it a one-to-one -one ratio. Um, I guess we should do it. But at the same time, we're going to need to massively increase the iron mines, which we have planned for. You know what we can do? This might be the catalyst we need to switch over to the other type of construction yard. Now we haven't got the glass, have we? We need to wait. <laughs> we need to wait. Anyway, though, at least we're making the barracks. I'm going to start the war, I think, on this enemy. Let's give it a shot. 
Now, I ideally want to completely wipe out Ecuador. Just get rid of them right away. I'm a bit concerned that it's showing me that the Ecuadorian army is pretty pa- Ooh. What kind of army do they have? 45-55. That's the same as my army. That's not good, everybody. They are equivalent to me, which is not what I want to see. Maybe we should consider them. Well, first off, wait, I mean, this, this is getting worse. <laughs> People keep moving here and it's making the uh, the tax burden worse. We need to probably focus on quickly getting that sorted out. Uh, let's just build a few of these guys to sort that out immediately. We need four. Four of those. We need to finish the barracks as well. Paper mills are required, so we put that in there. We'll see what the economy is like after that. And then if we can, we'll try and increase the amount of units I have. Now, what I will probably do, if I can, is bring in an ally. I can bring in France. What would France want, though? No. I do not want the French on this part of the map. No, thank you. Well, they already are, technically. They're over there. But I won't want them on my part of the map. Screw those guys. America doesn't care. We'll have to wait and see. Let's mobilize our guy. Oh, he's got... What What has happened to you, my friend? I don't know how he's done it, but he's got a new trait. Stalwart Defender plus 10 defense. Just flat out 10 defense. That's amazing. Uh, and also, he's somehow become an ex um, offensive planner. How is he doing this? This guy's a hero. Do you know what, Francesco? You are promoted, my friend, to be a higher rank, which allows him to use more units in battle. Done. Congratulations. Now... I don't know how he's getting these traits. He's a, he's a mad lad, he is. Argentina has been swayed, which means we can call in Brazil because Brazil hates Argentina. So, thank you, Argentina. You bring... You, what did you bring to the back table? You brought 9,000 troops, and now I can call in 90,000 troops. <laughs> Excellent job. He's going to be taking back that part of the Amazon. Do you know what? I'm okay with that. This is actually... You can say it's a bit weird. This means that you can't actually travel through this territory. It's useless. Um, so I don't care if he wants to regain that terrible part of... Ah. Uh, he gave up. That's annoying. I really wanted to kill the whole of Ecuador, but we just captured his main part instead. Um, I'm actually going to follow this up right away then with an attack on... Oh, we can't. Damn it. Well, regardless, we got some more territory. Good times. Wow. Wow. That's um, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. That's a, that's a lot of uh, paperwork we got to do to get that working. We probably need to get ourselves even more... <laughs> that, oh! Ooh. That pretty much offset most of it, to be fair. But we still need a little bit more to finish it off. So we'll queue up some more. This place is quite huge, so we can hopefully take advantage of the very large amount of existing businesses already in this location. Uh, I guess we should do this, but I'm not going... we got a lot of population that haven't got a job, so we're not going to take away a lot of their stuff there. And um, that's good for us. Take that. Dynamite. We can't get back dynamite. I will do all that in a second. We've got to be careful, Dynamite, though, because it's going to cost us a lot and we haven't got a lot, a lot being produced. So I want to do it in select locations. Also, as there's so many buildings here, we probably want to double check the situation with infrastructure. Because I feel like it may be over capacity. I thought I was... What was happening? Oh, Ecuador has a peasant revolt. Well, it sucks to be them. Not my problem. Can it even be Ecuador at this point? Because we literally own Ecuador. <laughs> the poor people. Oh, there's already a thing here. That's a good sign. Oh, no, never mind. It's way off. <laughs> there's a big problem. We need another railway. A lot of stuff you can see now is a problem because we've got a lot more population now and we really need to probably deal with a lot of the 
underlying issues to the economy. Done. Oh, wait, no, we're not done. So that one needs to be put up, and this needs to be looked at as well. No. Nope. Yes. Done. So as we just saw there, we got a lot of problems with our economy. I The easiest one, I think, to fix is going to be the railway one. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Screw it. Okay, so how does that fix the issue with transportation? You're not even using transportation. Uh, who's using transportation? Are you? It hasn't fixed the problem. Interesting. We need more. Well, first off, this place definitely needs... Probably, I'm going to say, two railways. So we get that going as soon as possible. And the rest... Uh, most of the issues come down, I think, to the market access. So we probably want to bring it up as soon as possible. Let's do this. But I also want to finish these government buildings as well. Things are going pretty well, though. I mean, like, our economy got loads taking over record all. We got way more population as well. So we, it's probably pretty good for the food market because I think the food market was a little bit over capacity. So um, now we at least got a little bit more income from that. Basically, there's a lot of buildings I need to get built, but there's not enough production capacity. <laughs> oh, this is a mess, though. At least in this situation, there is actually enough enemies to fight the war. Because I, I think I mentioned a few episodes ago, like, sometimes I saw a thing where small states can't even fight their own civil wars. It's a bit of a mess. Do you know what? I never checked here. Is there... Oh. No. I was going to say, what if there was a chance that there was uh, lead there? That'd be pretty crazy. Oh, not again. Oh, actually, this time, America's winning. Do you know what else we could do? We can also try and push in this way, because there was lead here, wasn't there? I am very tempted. I am very, very tempted to do this. They're also my rival. We might do a little bit of a uh, war of opportunity. If we can. What's going on here? Ah, do you know what I reckon is happening? I reckon we've run out of... Um, either we've lost one of our little bonuses. Ah. They... I've just lost 10% of my capacity there. Can we fix that somehow? Maybe add them into government? We're not passing any laws, right? Yeah, it's fine. We're just add them into the government. I want your buff, sir. Give me your buff. Problem solved. Handy. <laughs> Perfect. Let's also start incorporating the state then. Only 24 months to actually be completely done, which is very nice. I wonder if, if the peasant revolt... Oh, they've, they've lost. Never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if they won. It means that I could have maybe attacked them right away because it was a different country, technically. Who knows? I am very... Return state. Wait, 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 wait. I can return... I haven't got a claim. Oh, it's because I own part of the state already. That could be why. I can get the rest of this state here. And then I want to invade this state with the... It's also got gold. If you have gold, why are you not using the gold? 29 units. Are we on 30k yet? We're doing it. Screw it. They're already at war. We're taking, we're taking some lead. I just realized, you know what this is going to mean? It means we're going to also need additional <laughs> admin buildings again. Ah, oh, the amount of admin required is insane. I'm going to say, based off this, let's have a look. So, 85k, cheap, expensive. Probably going to have four buildings spread out. Uh, one there. None there. I'm going to do two here. Nope, we won't do two here. That's too risky. Leave that alone. I guess we can just put more here. Or maybe in some of our... This place, where everyone randomly moved to live for no reason. Let's put some more here. 
Okay, so England may get involved in either side. I hope they don't, because otherwise I'll just lose, unfortunately. Uh, I would love it if I can conquer the state here. Done. England's cordial with me, and they're cautious. Let's hope they don't kill me. So, I never explained this, by the way. There's two different stances for relations. You have flat relations, and you have attitude. They are di they are different. <laughs> you can have amazing relations, but they still want to kill you. That kind of thing. It's the same as um, EU4, where they change based on various things. Are we going to be allowed to... Wait, I've got an idea. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. It's looking pretty good for us. So, we're going to capture this place and capture that one. I also want this bit here, because that way it's going to have awful borders. And good borders is a good part of being a good human being. So let's go for this location. I can't add it. Oh, there it is. Done. And finally, war operations, because I'm a horrible person. Cool. Enable the military. Bring them up. We may not be able to take all our war goals, depending on what happens, because I imagine they might panic and stop the war. Actually, they're losing the War of America. What? What is happening up here? <laughs> oh, uh, I was building admin buildings, so we had some built-up um, investment pool. How built-up is it, by the way? Damn. That's a lot of investment pools. Oh, they did it again. They backed down. I, d I, don't, I don't want this. Well, I do, but I also want this more. Oh, well, it's fine. I should have made the other objective the primary objective. Well, regardless, we now have a new state. I haven't got to incorporate it because it's part of my existing state. Let's have a quick look at it. So, dies. Copy traded. We Something I've been ignoring for a while, by the way, is probably sugar, which goes into gr uh, groceries. I presume we can have an absolute insane amount of groceries right now. I'm just going to queue up an extra four buildings of that at some point. So I imagine it will get sold. It's intoxicant, so. This is amazing. This The amount of money we're getting right now is insane. I am tempted to get rid of this at this point. Screw it. Oh. That's okay. We've got a million pounds in reserve. I'll just let this run through for a little bit. Robber rush, not again. <laughs> Keeps happening. Happen again. This is giving too many migration buffs at <laughs> these locations. By the way, it's been a while since we actually looked at our map. I just want to have a quick look. So, where are our railways? Oh, we haven't got one here. Oh, that's so sad. We should have a railway here just so we can have a giant railway. So, where's our railway start? There it is. Does it go all the way down our nation? I think it should. They should go, yes, it's doing it. Look at this giant railway we've made. It's beautiful. Oh, what? what's happening here, game? Why is there no... There should be a railway connection, surely. To be fair, I guess in... They would expect you to build the Panama Canal. So I guess that wouldn't really work out very well. Damn. Ships of the air is closed. What is that? <laughs> Are they on about planes? What do they mean? I really should look at this more often, but um, I normally just do stuff and it just works out. Exploit the Amazon. Oh, is this like a... Oh, I don't want... No, I don't want that. Can you take it back, please? The Amazon rainforest contains vast riches, most importantly, an abundance of rubber trees. The inhospitable and uh, malarial climate has thus far prevented us from exploring, uh, exploiting these resources. But those, uh, through the wonders of technology, we will find a way. So I guess we need to just build a giant... Is it Where is this specifically? Here. So you can do something interesting to the Amazon. We might have tried that at some point. That's not good. Someone's going to rebel against me. Uh, there's a lot of them as well. I imagine they must be living here. Yeah, that's some primary population. Oh, there, I can't stop this. It's just going to happen, unfortunately. Like, now that we've seen this, it progresses so quickly, I literally can't stop it. So that's a bit annoying. 
Oh, we're only 14 months away as well. I thought they were having... I, I built them railways and stuff. I thought they were starting to get their life sorted out. I guess we can try and do... Oh, I don't know what we can even do to try and fix this now. I guess we can do this to get market share back up. But I think it's too late. That's just going to keep going up to 100%, unfortunately. Which I'm just realizing something a second. Where are we building this? They need more railways again. There wasn't enough. Ah, oh, it goes up too quickly. I wonder if we can do like a cheat or something. I wouldn't recommend doing this. I was, I'm doing it as an experiment. I want to see if we can temper the fury of these people. Nah, it's not gonna, it's, it went down by like 0 0.3. <laughs> it's not fast enough, we failed. Mission failed everybody, mission failed. Screw you guys. Where's my war? Let's get my units. Mobilize the troops. It's taking a long time to actually set off. I think it's because I got that. Um, it, it's gone. It's going down as well. That's the worst thing. <laughs> I got a rainbow flag. <laughs> what color do you want? All of them. I will destroy you and your flag of colors. Imagine their uniform. It must be insane. Rubber rush. Oh, guys, stop it, please. <laughs> we need less rubber rushing. They have no chance of succeeding. They're just going to die. So um, that's up to them, I guess. What? America lost? What have they done now? Look at this! What is this? It's like a little square entryway. Then you got two giant square states. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, this is disgusting. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Um, what is this? Now that we have more publicly traded companies, we should now focus on what comes next. Uh, Damn, I can get some technology growth. What is that technology, by the way? Because I have no idea. It's this. It just gives me more minting. Minting is, uh, you just get money from, uh, either, you get more minting from gold mines, I think. Or it's just the size of your economy is, like, we're getting 20k just from the size of my economy right now. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. 4k progress is not a lot, but zeppelins. Elevators. We should really get this as well. Nah, it's not, oh, sorry, but this one's what we need. There's a lot, we're actually getting really far in the tech tree right now. I guess we are in 1879. Oh my, how did that even happen? How did, okay, screw it. I'm speeding stuff up, everybody. I'm playing too slow, clearly. Uh, let's get stuff moving, shall we? We need more speed. How bad is this going to be in a few seconds? Oh, we need the... Up, up, up. Up. I didn't realize we were that far into the game, everybody. Sorry, I was just, I was just, I've been playing this, by the way, in like a day or two. <laughs> I've just been having a good time. But we need to speed things up. I should be further along than I am right now. So I'm going to just ignore the taxation thing. We're going to go full money. We're going to have massive construction speeds and we're going to smash through the uh, game. I don't want to go too fast because otherwise it'd be like us. Oh, Done everything. Okay, so let's put this back to where it was. I think most of this is what it should be already, but they have changed a lot of the things over to the ones I don't want. So there was a big problem because we actually haven't got enough of it, so we're getting a penalty, but it's only a 9% penalty. It's not that bad. It's not that bad.
Um, I think most of this is already good to go then. Do you need more infrastructure? You do. Uh, switch that back to regular. That should fix that problem. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Ah, oh, that one's not. Most of it they've left the same because I built railways for them. So they're like, oh, we've already got what we need to actually run these without my market doing it for them. Cool. Done. So right now we've got 80 build suites. So we're actually building four buildings at the same time, which is pretty awesome. Uh, though I say that, we're actually using a lot of assist to do this then. Road maintenance. Done. 10% more speed in all these locations. Awesome. It's probably going to cause a quite rapid increase in our economy if we start, if we actually maintain this rate of construction. I would do more, but we need to try and get up to at least getting rid of this deficit because it is quite harsh. Um, I don't want to raise tax if we don't have to. If we can just hold this off until we get it um, in our state, we probably get a lot more money as well. That's probably going to be worth like five grand itself, this state being scored. Trade unions, loads of... Wow, why would I pick this option? That's awful. Five years, £8,000 a week. No, that's terrible. <laughs> that's insane. Why would you do that? Nice. Shrapnel artillery for barracks. Very, very good. Let's look at our military then. And let's increase their size to shrapnel. So what do we get? We get double offense and defense. You get more morale damage, more kill rate, more devastation, but less problems is captured because they're not mobile anymore. We'll take it. This graph is it's gone. It's off the top of the screen, everybody. I need a, I need an 8K monitor to see how far that goes into the sky. You know, I had to go to the International Space Station. I was like, there it is. It's over there. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't realize we had one of those. So we actually, I didn't realize I unlocked it, but there's a better version of uh, Vacuum Evaporation. That has stabilized quite rapidly the cost of construction. Because we have just dealt with two things here. But first off, we're making way more steel mills. And also we've made more um, explosives. So it actually has reduced the price quite a bit here. Automatic irrigation. I don't remember what that does. Ah, ooh, we can increase the output of these. That's awesome. Though we need more engines. <laughs> Clearly there's a problem with engines there. I don't think we have enough steel mills. I know I just built another two and built another one in a second, but if we look at this, everybody, it's not enough steel mills. <laughs> we need more. Screw it. Let's build another four. Five. Well, four. Great. So this is another upgrade for our thing here. We now actually can start exploiting rubber. Uh, no one lives here, do they? Damn it. Can we do it here? Yes. Let's build... How many do we need? I don't know how much is created. Let's just build four for now. And it will also mean that we can now use bicycle messengers. So right now we have cavalry scouts that do absolutely nothing. But we would go to bicycle messengers that increases offensive by five. Province is captured by 20% and it gives us more power. That is amazing. I'm a big fan of that. We'll definitely take that. And also for our particular textile mills over here, we can increase the production of... Luxury goods by quite a bit as well, by 45. So that's a quite a large increase. I would say at some point we need to increase this by, I'm going to say two. And also the same for this as well, I would imagine. Yes. And also, <laughs> I would imagine for porcelain as well. Yes. Everything needs to be increased. Have we got through the truce period yet, by the way, for we have. Excellent. Ah, if we attack Peru, Bolivia, we have to attack... France, Argentina, Chile, and Ecuador. Not great, not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to wait for this to end the truce with Ecuador, and we might be able to do a proxy war against them. How long have we got, by the way, on various truces? Truces, uh, 
1883. So another three years time. Should I tell you what? Screw that. We're going to go for more technology for military. I need... Yeah, I want to go for some... I'll, if we're going to start conquering, because we've got, we've got to speed things up, everybody, because I didn't realise how far in the game we were. I need a bigger army. We need to get a big, strong army. We need to kill everybody. I can't believe we're actually making money now with the mass increase in construction speed, which is amazing. Um, do you know what we need, though, everybody? We need more construction speed. Yes. We are going to go for extreme mega growth at this point. I'm just going to keep growing at a massive rate. <laughs> I'm going to go fly up there. It's going to be perfect. Don't worry about it. Ah, good. We're about to get these shipyards done. So if you recall, one of them is going to be a clipper shipyard. One is going to be a steamer shipyard. So it probably will mean that we can get the rest of the fishing uh, wharfs up to steamer technology. Which would be very handy for us. I wonder, I, I wish there was a way you can see the AI's construction speed. I'm very curious about that. Because uh, I have noticed that my growth rate is a bit different than the AI's growth rate most of the time. I mean, if we go and look at England, for instance, uh, what's, their, what's their growth rate like in the last... France, though. Fran France is a different breed, everybody. France is absolutely smashing it. England is increasing as well, but not as fast. I mean, France is increasing faster than I am. They are absolutely doing an amazing job. And we're now making five buildings at a time. Very nice. Okay, we got this right. Yes, steamers have been increased. Let's go and switch over the rest of fishing places. It's going to be too much. It's going to be too much. I guess we can do a little bit again at a time. But the coal is going to be... The coal is my problem with this one. We do. Oh, wait. Something we are forgetting about, which I did say we could do earlier, but we kind of equaled it out already. Damn it. I was going to say I was going to try and increase the amount of coal by using dynamite, but it's not great at the moment. Because we've got loads of people that live here, it's probably best better to just build way more coal mines. <laughs> uh, so, what we got right now, we got, we're making 312 here. We can flat out just build another five right away. Um, iron mines are building as well. That's perfect. Okay. We're nearly at par again with incomes. Let's do it once more. Increase in construction speed. <laughs> they can't stop us now. We should probably also invest in more admin building because I really want to get this up to maximum. So we should probably plan for that in the future. At some point, let's just put a... Let's put them here. Oh, I've already done it. Three. I reckon we need more than that to max it out. I'm telling you what, we're just going to put this up to seven. Sorry, ten. We're probably going to need more infrastructure for this as well. That would be a long-term bureaucratic increase. Okay, we're losing a bit more money now. It should still be okay. But everybody, apart from that, I think that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope that everyone has enjoyed. I <laughs> absolutely love this game. I did probably play a little bit too slowly. Um, but we are going to rapidly ramp up how fast we're playing. Because I didn't realize how far along in the game we were doing. How did I even miss this? I thought we were still like 1860 or something. So yeah, we're going to speed everything up. We're going to increase the rate of conquest. I just need to get my buildings up and stuff first. But now I think, what are we before? like 40 build speed we are going to be increasing build speed rapidly we can keep going probably get to like 200 and then we're going to build like a 200 grand army if we can as well and just start smashing everyone up but thank you for watching everybody as always please like subscribe and comment below and i will see you all next time bye